Mankind has built huge structures for the sea, land, and for the air. For every massive object, you need another one to transport it. And some of these constructions are the most awe-inspiring of all. Amazing! Number 10. Slag Pot Transporter Comag Slag Pot Transporter may not sound like the most glamorous vehicle on the list, but it packs tons of its own tech and toughness into its iron hide. The unique challenge Comag faced when designing the Titanic Transporter was enabling it to carry super hot 1300 degrees centigrade molten slag from the smelting process safely and efficiently from the incinerators to coolers. Special vehicle manufacturer Comag rose to the task of constructing a new leading vehicle in this field, and the 82-ton transporter they created measures 11.9 meters long by 7.7 .7 meters wide and 4.3 meters high. With a capacity of no less than 130 tons, it can carry a good portion more than its own weight. Maneuvering a truck like this is a highly responsible and complex task, and therefore, the Comag truck is packed full of technical innovations in that it has a state-of-the-art automatic smooth and reliable gearbox, digital monitoring systems, and highly flexible steering systems. Number 9. Shuttle Carrier Aircraft Transported Through LA Space Shuttle Endeavor's final journey was perhaps insignificant compared to its missions to the International Space Station. In its awesome history, it completed 25 missions, with a total of 299 days spent orbiting Earth a total of 4,671 times. Even so, its last voyage, dubbed Mission 26, presented an insane logistical challenge in its own right. Endeavor was retired to the California Science Center, where it's become the museum's centerpiece, set to inspire new generations of astronauts and explorers. Its final journey began on the back of the Boeing 747, a famous sight in itself, and the aircraft's pilots Jeff Moultrie and Bill Reich flew the shuttle over California's landmarks including the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco and NASA's Ames Research Center at Moffett Field. After landing at Los Angeles, the spacecraft's journey to the museum took three days to complete, for a distance of just 14 kilometers. The shuttle, its fuel tank, and other parts weighed in at 144 tons, and it took a 160-wheeled carrying device to transport it through LA streets. Trees, lampposts, and many other obstacles had to be removed, as the shuttle was tentatively driven to its final resting place surrounded by a vast entourage of spectators. Number 8. Huge Boulder Many weird and wonderful tasks have been carried out in the name of art, but moving a 340-ton boulder wasn't at the top of anyone's list until Michael Heiser designed Levitated Mass, where visitors could walk through a large concrete trough under a huge suspended boulder. The boulder, located in Riverside County, California, was transported to the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, almost 100 miles away. It was loaded onto a 176-wheel transporter, which then navigated the huge distance at night whilst roads were temporarily closed. Number 7. Transporting the World's Biggest Turbine If you've ever looked at a jumbo jet's turbine and marveled at its size, then Harriet trumps it in every way, shape, and form. It's the world's largest and most efficient gas turbine, and converts gas to electricity with an astounding efficiency rating of 61% when combined with a steam turbine. It achieves its amazing efficiency through technology originally developed for jet engines. Harriet weighs in at 400 tons, a world champion that people in France turned out to see on the roadside, much akin to their Tour de France, but this world champion only reached a top speed of 10 miles per hour. It was transported from Belfort to Bouchon, over 330 miles away, and such a complex, vastly expensive, and tremendously important construction had to be transported to absolute perfection. The convoy was 109 meters in length, 6.6 .6 meters wide, and 6 meters high, weighing in at 800 tons in total. The turbine was carried on 14 rows of triple-tired axles, and every element of its construction was scrutinized over the three years it took to plan the journey. So fine was the planning that computer models were generated to assess bridges and bypasses as well as nuances in the road's chamber, its elevation, and its surface quality. Local councils were even instructed to improve many roads to prepare for it. From Strasbourg, the turbine was taken down rivers until it reached the energy plant for installation, and once it was running, it created 600 megawatts of power to power 700,000 French homes. Number 6. 1,048-ton reactor One name which will be cropping up when discussing super heavy haulage and transportation is Mamoet, who are the world's super heavy transport elites. They've been taking on board all manner of near-impossible haulage tasks, and one such mega challenge was shifting Samsung Saudi Arabia's 1,048-ton reactor from its factory in Dammam to a petrochemical plant in Sheba. The journey is 1,080 miles, a huge distance in itself, 
but the real brutality of this task lies in the terrain that Mamoud had to navigate to achieve their goal. The Rub Al Khali Desert is the largest continuous sand desert in the world, and in summer, the temperature can swing between 50 degrees centigrade to zero sub-zero, not to mention frequent vicious sandstorms. Mamoet's huge convoy set off with a crew nearing the hundreds, ten trucks, and a huge hydraulic trailer system which would carry the reactor itself. They navigated roads which were barely seven meters wide, had to remove many low power lines and coordinate the vast convoy over the crest of sand dunes which had slopes of up to 8%. To top it all off, 500 kilometers of the journey was completely void of human settlement, meaning the entire convoy had to be self-sufficient on water, food, and other provisions. Number 5. Hotel Moving buildings has never been an easy proposition. How do you uproot the foundations and carry a building intact? It seems like an impossible task for anything, but San Antonio made history in the 80s when they moved the Fairmount Hotel half a mile downtown to a new location, even crossing a bridge in the process. The hotel, once built as a luxury boutique hotel for railroad passengers, was ordered to be conserved rather than demolished and relocation seemed like the best way to preserve the hotel's historical value. The hotel, which weighed 1,360 tons, was gutted, beamed together, and locked into one large shell before the structure was heaved by a cable and pulley system with hydraulic lifts, cranes, and trucks. It took six days, a world record-breaking feat which was big news in over 30 countries. Number 4. NASA Crawler Transporter NASA's Crawler Transporter is an awe-inspiring form with its huge lumbering caterpillar tracks. When it's loaded with a shuttle, it looks even more imposing, and the staggering weight these have carried extends all the way up to 5,500 tons for the mighty Saturn V rocket. The transporter itself has a weight of 2,721 tons. The crawler, as of 2003, is powered by 16 traction motors, which are powered by four 1,000 kW generators, in turn driven by two 2,750 HP V16 diesel engines. Its fuel tanks hold 19,000 liters of diesel, and it burns an outrageous 296 liters per kilometer. At a speed of 1.6 kilometers per hour, these take three hours to get from the hangars to the launch complexes, and since 1965, they've traveled a total of 5,500 kilometers, which is enough to get from Miami to Seattle. Number 3. Largest Land Vehicle Ever Bagger 293 The Bagger 293 is a ridiculously large vehicle. It really makes you double tape because it's just so damn large. In fact, it weighs no less than 14,200 tons. Requiring a staggering 16.56 megawatts of power from a huge external power source, this behemoth has a top speed of one-third of a mile per hour. The Bagger destroyed NASA's crawler's record for the biggest land vehicle and currently holds the Guinness World Record. So why was there a need to build such a mighty machine? The Bagger wasn't initially intended to be a mobile machine, and was instead made mobile as it was considered cheaper than deconstructing the machine to just reconstruct it at another mining site. Its construction cost $100 million and took five years to design and manufacture, and then five years to assemble. The amazing stats don't end there. It requires a crew of five, and it can move 240,000 cubic meters, that's 218,880 tons of soil per day, amounting to 2,500 full truckloads or the equivalent of an entire full-size football field dug to 100 feet deep each day. Number 2. Goliath Oil Ring Platform So far we've looked at land transportation, but this example looks at sea transportation. And though it's obvious that far more can be pulled at sea, 64,000 tons is still a mean feat. In fact, this is an entire oil rig platform which was transported 15,600 nautical miles from South Korea to the remote Norwegian city, Hammerfest. The platform was transported over 63 days on one of the largest vehicles ever built, a semi-submersible ship named the Dockwise Vanguard, able to carry up to 117,000 tons. That's eight Bagger 293s, which are the world's largest land vehicles. The Dockwise Vanguard is a behemoth with a length of 275 meters. It cost a staggering $250 million to build, and is the largest heavy lift ship ever built. The Goliath platform itself is a feat of modern engineering, designed to withstand the Barents Sea's icy storms and extreme weathering, while keeping its operators perfectly safe. The complete oil field will yield up to 100,000 oil barrels every single day. Number 1. Cargo Ships the Battle of the Sea's Biggest Ship is a real clash of the titans. There are so many absolutely huge vessels out there, and many really are hard to get your head around, perhaps none more than the OOCL Germany and the CSCL Globe, 
which both nearly measure a breathtaking 400 meters and weigh in at almost 200,000 tons. They can both carry over 200,000 tons of cargo, or over 20,000 20-foot shipping units. However, there is one ship which beats these by a shocking 88 meters, the Prelude FLNG, a liquefied natural gas platform which currently holds the record for the biggest offshore construction ever. It's almost twice as long as the Titanic, and two and a half times wider, dwarfing just about every other construction on Earth besides the largest skyscrapers. Even then, it's still taller than the Empire State Building, the Shanghai World Financial Center, and the Petronas Towers. With a gross tonnage of 310,000 tons and a construction cost of $10 billion or more, it's going to take something truly out of this world to beat this absolute monster of a vehicle. The huge feats we've accomplished are testament to our iron will as humans. Which one amazed you the most? Do you know of any more? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.